Okay, so I had a question on this, and I thought it's probably a pretty common thing, so I wanted to make a quick video of it. And the question was kind of how can you do something like these words? Now, there's two ways those words might be on your product. Um, one is that they could be just printed on, um, and the other is that they could actually do what's called either embossed or engraved. Embossed is when they kind of stick out and you can feel them. Engraved is when they're cut in. Now, on a flat surface, that isn't too hard to do. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and make a quick flat surface here. And so if I have a flat surface that I'm going to put the put some words on, uh, I'm just going to make a quick flat surface there. All I'd have to do for that is just to sketch on that surface and use the text tool. And I could put whatever text I wanted to in there. You know, get it to the size that I want. And then once you're happy with that text, then you can just go ahead and extrude it. Now, if it's embossed, which means it sticks out, you just bring it out. You know, something small, embossed text is usually not very big. Um, and so you'd end up with something like that. If it's engraved, then you just go the other way and remove it. And you'll see then you've got an engraving. Um, if it's not actually there, if it's not sticking out or in, you could just leave the sketch on there. Um, although that's not going to look super great, there's really no other options. Um, what you could do is if you really, really don't want it to just look like that, go ahead and extrude it, but just a really, really small amount. Um, go a tiny, tiny little amount. You're barely going to notice that it's actually sticking out, but it is going to show up. And then you can even go in and edit the appearance of just that feature to make it stand out like a different color. So that'd probably be your best way to make something like that. Now with a curved part, you've got some little you know, extra options here. You can't just sketch right on it. And so those methods don't seem to work. What we're gonna do is use an auxiliary or an extra plane. I'm gonna bring it out from the front until it's at least out past the, uh, the front of the circular part. So I wanna make sure I clicked on too many things. So I'm going to grab the front plane here and I'm just going to bring it out. Um, one inch is actually enough because you can see there it is out past the front. And I'll make my sketch on that plane. And we'll do the exact same thing here. Put our text on there however you want. Now, if we want to extrude this in, we're going to run into a little bit of a problem now. Oops, I put it on the wrong plane, didn't I? And I wanted it on that plane. Make sure you're putting it on the plane you made. And you see it's kind of floating off into space there. So the problem is then if we go to extrude that, it's not connected to that first part. Even if I go in you know, and cut it away, then it kind of automatically cuts through the whole thing. And if I don't want it to cut through the whole thing, we start to really quickly run into problems where because it's a curved surface, it's, it doesn't really want to work too well. Um, so other things that you can try here. Okay, sorry, this might either be two videos or a cut real quick. I lost track of where the button was for it. But if you want a text to actually follow the curve, your option is hiding here. It's called the wrap feature. For some of your screens that might be shown on the top, for others, it might even be combined with more, but wrap is gonna let you take a text and then the target is this cylindrical object that you want to wrap it around. And so you'll see that it just kind of, um, it just kind of attaches itself to that surface there. Um, now you've got some options here. Not exactly sure what these all do, but there you can see that, so that kind of embosses it on the text. You can either add or remove just like you could before. As a surface, you can kind of see it's created surfaces on the edge of that. You probably don't want that one. Um, probably you want solid and then either to add or remove. And again, if it's just like barely there, if it's just a sticker, you know, maybe put it really small, like 0 0.01. 
and you'll see it show up just barely there. Then you could go in if you wanted it dark and add appearance and just change it to whatever color you wanted. So that's the key to getting it wrapped around a circular object specifically. I know it does only work for circular objects, but that wrap tool is your key to that one.